Hello humans and not humans alike and good of replies to you. Today we are back on Pillars of Eternity PS4 Let's Play. Where yep, yeah, we just accepted the thing to find the missing scroll and left. Abandoned farm on the path to Deerford. I actually think I've seen that too. Yeah. So I actually know what she's look or where she's looking for anyway. Uh I've seen that abandoned thing, so yep. Anyway, we're heading to Andra's gift right now instead of that, because we're trying to find Viana. Might affects all damage and healing done by the character and their fortitude defense. It may also be used in conversation and script interactions for test of strength and power, and also beating the shit out of someone until they talk. I might seem like I'm more I'm bored or something, but no, that's just loading. Now that's just because I'm recording. That makes loading screen seem slightly longer to me. And they probably should be. Hello. Okay. Uh. And if you're honest, you honest, I'm going to mute and place the gift. Empty house on the Hello? northern end of the district. So that one? There really are a lot of abandoned houses here. So many abandoned houses. Okay, I think this is it, right? There's an abandoned house on the northern district, and this thing's closed again. Dudwina, as you enter the room, you see several figures headed together. They stand at attention, arm, but not in magic gear like crystal knights. And at the center group, one leans over another, holding a flail. She's not at the camera view. You've got pages of research here. You think these are just your scratch work? There's nothing, I promise. Just my notes. You're a painful smack as a woman backhands a captive. We know you're a meeting with crystal knights. You think they're the only ones with power in the city? You, They call us dozens for a reason. Now, I won't ask you again. Uh, what's going on here? Nothing you need to know about. More like you're beating a researcher. Damn, you dozens people are fucking insane. Is that a... Yeah, that's an antelope companion. <laughs> oh, it's so weird to be an antelope inside. <laughs> You don't have enough range for a mind fuck. Like I'd want. So instead, I'll uh, just do that to Dudwina. I don't suppose you have any type of AoE melee attack now? Didn't think so. Alright, let's start fighting. We're gonna get through the guards eventually. She doesn't react to her soul being lit on fire well, does she? Okay, my character stopped hitting things. There, knock that one down. You could heal, but instead I want you to summon a phantom right here. 
and you use your mind blades on the deer. Yeah, that did something. Okay, now you uh, attack that one. You also attack that one. Just gotta remember, I just need the baby. And I don't know why I popped it. Be honest, face is covered in bruises and eyes are wide with shock and relief. I don't know who you are, but thank you. Rapid hitching breast punch. I was sure they were going to kill me. What just happened here? I thought I was coming here to meet my, um, friend from the Republic, so it looked like I walked into a trap. The dozens must have been watching me for a while. I've been working on special projects in Cruise Nights, and we're exactly subtle about contacting me. It deals with a rather rare branch of animacy. No offense, but I probably shouldn't get too specific about Commander Claver's permission. He commissioned it, after all. You see, trouble little indiscretion has got me to. Uh, tell me about yourself. I studied animancy in Ozio, back in the Valian Republics. I came to Defiance Bay to research local advances, but instead of going to Brackenberry Sanitarium, I found a position as Scrivener at the Temple of Whale. I've had access to many rare manuscripts that most animancers never see. Of course, I've had to keep my head down. I've been careful not to let the head librarian or my colleagues know what I'm working on. Now, let's get you out of here. No. Commander Cliver of the Crucible Knights is waiting for all my research. Not that you haven't already done a lot for me, but maybe you could talk, take it to him. I'd kept it with me to prevent it from falling into the wrong hands, but you could see how well that worked out. She took it from me when I arrived. Anyhow, don't wait on me. I can make my own way out of here. And that is the smallest text I've ever seen. Dear gods. Oh, what's this? Yeah, I'd say. The term godlike doesn't refer to my ability to kill. As much as I find that statement hilarious, we're going to the Crucible Knights now, so be quiet. Yes, allegedly, that's what the animal companions are perfect for, allegedly. I mean, if you want to try, you could technically play this game entirely without a party and just by yourself. And so you could rack up all the experience for yourself and level up quickly. But then again, why would you? Dear God, you miss out on so much. Like all those party interactions. Again, you could rack up the experience, but it would definitely make combat more difficult. 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 It would make it so difficult. Difficult. Okay, here we go. I thought Aeloth was unable to find the source of the rumors plaguing Road's end and the surrounding heirloom of Hell's Gate. The local authorities assist in breaking up mobs, punishing would be murders, and preventing more young women from being buried alive. A particularly large and violent mob at Kell Hill Cemetery crowded Aeloth to rally local soldiers and put down the primary troublemakers. On the body of the biggest belligerent, Aeloth found an odd magical rope that he intended to use on a local young woman. A wizard advisor of the Earl of Hell's Gate suspected that the rope had been created by the same person as those fulfilling rumors and cited attacked in the first place. Uh, a prestigious visitor. Well, after I go visit the Crucible Knights, I'll definitely go see that. It's not like I get prestigious visitors often, you know.
deception affects a character's chance to cause interrupts on attacks and contributes to accuracy and reflex defense. It may also be used in conversation and scripted interactions to notice smaller hidden details. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to keep these loading screens interesting. I mean, technically, I could just cut out loading screens, but... Eh. Eh, I feel like, you know, it's... I mean, I could cut it out. But then again, I just like doing Let's Plays as, like, unedited as possible, mostly. Like, you see, for me, I, I don't read reviews or anything to decide if I'm going to play a game or not. No, I watch Let's Plays. I watch Let's Plays from people who actually enjoy the game, so I have a good idea of it, you know? Because, I mean, in a review, it's mostly just someone's heavily biased opinions and all that. There go. This game is trash. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Okay, what are some good points to it? There are no good points. It's absolute trash. There's got to be something. There's nothing. No. Well, see, if this is just a less play here, nice, less friendly, less play, you know, nice commentary, you see what's interesting, what's not, what's good, bad, and all that stuff. Nice and pretty much unfiltered. You know? I'm just trying to keep this as nice and, you know, equitable as possible. Uh, I play games I enjoy. Hopefully give you a sense, and maybe if you see this, you might want the game to enjoy, you know. They're Dunstan. Here are those notes you're looking for. Dunstan! Anything else, anyway? I think this is what you've been looking for. Commander Clarvis said you're working with an animus to build the Forge Knights? So much for his talk of secrecy. Aye, I'm building Cleaver's Metal Warriors. He says they're what we need to keep order and defiance bay, so... Now, do you disagree with him about these Forge Knights? Then they get make no smell trouble here. A group that can't stand together is headed for a fall. And don't get me started on the other problems. Those souls he's been bought. To, those souls he's bought to power the Forge Knights. Clyro keeps telling himself that they came from willing donors, but he knows better. There's a reason you have to buy souls through less than legal channels. We should be cleaning those scavengers off the road, not doing business with them. He created these Forge Knights. Suits of armor and souls. Clyro had me repairing and reinforcing unused armor for months now, just so we can fill them with some poor sod's essence. As long as that scholar's girl's got her numbers right, infusing the armor with the souls won't be that hard, but that's not what bothers me. And Nevion's research. She's been working out a method to transfer souls into the armor, getting the process just right is critical. Find the souls too tight, and you get something like those flesh constructs at the sanitarium. Barely bright enough to avoid walking into a wall. You bind them too loosely, and they'll be too self aware for their own good. Mad killers and metal bodies. Enough about the Forge Knights. I think this is what you've been looking for. That's what Cleaver's been looking for anyway. If you found it, I guess I've got to start. You don't sound too happy about this. I'm not. Now, time to see if that Valian was worth all that blood and copper. I'm not sure I like the idea of Forge Knights either. I'll be damned. To be honest, even I wasn't expecting it to work this well. Back to it. Cleaver will want me to finish the rest of them. And it sounded like he has a job for you, too. I wouldn't use them as policing. I'd use them as, like, raid reinforcements or something, but not actual, like, boots on the ground. Buy this random shit I picked up. Buy it all! Wait, when did I get a ring? Shit.
I try not to sell anything unique. There's a shattered animat armor. I uh, don't know if that's an ingredient for anything or not, so let's not sell that. I thought as much. Like some stuff slipped into the stash. F stock two handed. Uh, you got a bunch of fine stuff. An exceptional and oh, what's this? Sturdy, freeze proofed, exceptional. Okay. Forge Master Gloves. Grants Firebrand, three per rest. Summon Weapon Firebrand for 30 seconds. Huh. Consecrated Grant, oh wow. Shit, these are some good, this is some good gear right here. I'm taking this. I just got a bunch of money, and now I'm giving it up. Alright, what ring do you currently have? I need to distribute this a bit more evenly, don't I? I'll just take that, though. Hey, it looks like Cliver's got another job, allegedly. So let's go see him. And the wrong way. Hello, Forge Knight. You want to talk? No, you're just contemplating murdering me? Okay. Just checking. Commander Cliver. Was Dunstan will complete the first squad of Forge Knights in no time. Now the High Justice will want to have his Forge Masters at Fleetbreaker Castle create more. I've made a copy of Viana's research, and the High Justice has sent a courier to Anslog's Compass to retrieve it. The dozens have gotten too active for the courier to come to Defiance Bay. And after Viana's kidnapping, we've got to assume they know about our plans. That's why I'm sending you to deliver the research. You shouldn't be recognizable to the dozens. Yet. Not much the dozens do recognize other than things that make them feel threatened. But after this, I expect they'll learn of your association with us and they won't be too happy about it. Neither will the dominoes. They're trying to expand the family business, and they resent us for standing in the way. I need someone I can trust, and you've proven your integrity both in my service and Defiance Bay. Consider Anslug's it done. compass is a small lagoon just north of Defiance Bay. Your contact will be a commander named Arinrod. She'll meet you by the docks. Return to me when you've finished. The High Justice has made the expansion of the Forge Knights his top priority, which means it's mine as well. Yeah, I agree with Dunstan. Uh, Forge Knights, not good idea. I don't know, it just seems like way too much shit can go horribly wrong with these things. You know, it's just a... Uh... It's too much, uh, they're... Uh, I just don't like them. You know, it just becomes too easy to kill people 
when you don't have to stand right in front of them or do it yourself with like your bare hands or nothing. When you can just send a bunch of autonomous units over to take them out, you become less able to actually care about life around you. One of the things I disagree with is the existence of guns. Honestly, if I had time travel, I'm not sure if I wouldn't just go back and annihilate anyone who tried to prevent guns. Ah, oh, world would be different. For starters, British expansion probably wouldn't have happened. Or happened as quickly or as expansively, anyway. You mean a Your lot coloration, more? Kana. You're an island, Omawa, aren't you? What's it like in Deadfire? I've only heard tall tales. I wouldn't really know. I've never been to any of the Deadfire settlements, and my parents told me very little, mostly pirate. From time to time, my mother says she misses the quiet of her village, but little else. She has always pushed my sisters to do what she could not as a child. I don't miss my village. It's all just bad memories and the reek of fish guts to me now. Uh, I'm supposed to go to Anslog's Compass, so do I want to do Heritage Hill first or Anslog's Compass? Uh, hmm. Honestly, I think I want to do Anslog's Compass first. But I'm going to do Heritage Hill. Let's go. We want to fight zombies! Oh no, wait, right, I was supposed to... You know, no, I gotta stop in Cade Nua and uh, see what this visitor wants. So yeah, you know what, let's go to Anslog's Compass. Individuals' characters can enter scouting mode separately from the rest of the party. A dashed selection circle indicates which characters are currently scouting. I'm not trying to make fun of anyone, I'm just uh, trying to make loading screens interesting. Because there are a lot of them. And they are kind of long on consoles. I'm uh, from what I've heard, it's short. The loading screens are shorter on PC, but well. Anyway. That's something you consider if you want to get this on your PS4 or not. Again. Also, I have like a 2 terabyte hard drive. So... I don't know if that affects it. This is not... The stones and the spirits in this place have begun to heal. Yeah, this thing is... Uh, this... Uh, the hard drive on here is not a um, factory. <laughs> this is 2 terabyte thing. It is the original PS4. I do, I'd like the design of the original better than that uh, Pro they came out with in Slim. I just like the nice little finish... Like the shiny bit on the left and the shape. You know? And hell, I saw my, uh... Well, I don't have my original 360. I had the second one because my original had the Red Rings of Death. Like, twice. So I upgraded when I had to. Okay, that ended abruptly. I'm like, oh my god, did something break? <laughs> no. I bear a message from the Ducal Palace. Finally, intrusion, my lord. Chancellor Warren urgently requests they meet him at the Charred Barrel in Brackenbury. Uh, is it about Cade Newell again? I don't know. My apologies, my lord. I am merely a messenger. That was a bit of switch. Remind me who Chancellor Warren is, because Leah. Why isn't the Chancellor reading me at the palace? Chancellor's meeting here at an unofficial class. Yeah, it's a good time. Well, swiftly as he exits, you can Okay, that's not good. That's really not good. I trust all is well. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. What's the state of the keep? The found and buried complete. That is good, uh... Binding, what's that? 
characters hitting self stuck. Okay. I'll take it. Alright then, let's go. Now we're gonna rest first, and then we're gonna head to Anslog's Compass. Uh, Domino's already hate me for helping the Valian uh, trading people, so... It really isn't a problem for me, <laughs> them hating me more. I should just go to the house and just start killing them. That would solve a lot of my problems, wouldn't it? Wait, will I get arrested, though, if I do that? Hmm. Yeah, that's the real issue. Will the law come after me? But I like the killing. Man, I can always hide out in my keep. It's got decent Stones defenses. Stones and the spirits in this place have begun to heal. And yeah, it's got decent defenses. We can last for a bit. <laughs> Items like grappling hooks and hammer and chisel sets are always consumed when they are used. Now then, upstairs. Take me to my chambers. I know full well I can set up their actions. However, they don't seem to want to obey me, or at least two of them don't. My own character and the damn grieving mother. They're constantly disobeying. Oh, Aloth, hey, you're back. Yeah, no, I won't take you to the Animancy Woman yet. Rest. I like perception. It's helping me out a lot. Ah. Uh. You find yourself back in the space inside the grieving mother's mind. It is familiar this time, and even though you feel you have seen countless bursts from the same place, something fills you with unease. The sky is darkened. The mist has risen from the forest to hammer you in. You are trapped. You hear something. The sound is strange, dissonant, like warping metal. You grit your teeth against the noise, and yet as it rises, the eerie melody drives the numbness from your limbs and clears a space in the mist. The noise resolves into a dull tone. As it resounds through your bones, you see that your hands are in motion. And once again, you are drawing forth life, something warm and fragile struggling into the world. The scene feels familiar, a moment you have lived, a dream and dreamed, a thousand times before, and yet something ominous nods at the edge. Focus on the child, the movement of your hands. As your hands move, you hear the sounds of chimes, clear and sharp, yet somewhere distant they seem echoed by something else, wails of sorrow, tolling bells it's impossible to tell. And... An inexplicable sense of dread fills you, your soul, as the child makes his journey to you. Push by push, a malicious presence seems to surround you, and you lean forward to shield the child. At last, the baby emerges, wet and ready from its journey. A lifetime seems to have passed as the newborn moved from womb to world, and another seems to pass as you cradle the trembling child, waiting. The child cries out, its cry full of life, full of soul, the chime echoing in its thoughts, filling it with its welcome. The soul is blurred at the edges, as if you are viewing a soul from within a soul. But it is there. It is alive. The woman before you is weeping, and at her first cry, her hands reach out for it. You surrender the child to her, something you have done many times before. As your hands move, the dull clangor sounds, and you feel a weight hanging from your wrist. You look down and see bones, tiny and malformed, hanging from a string about your wrists. They're heavier than they should be, and as they clank together, they make a noise like funeral bells. The mother is too intent upon her newborn to pay you any heed, so you hide your wrists behind your back. You need never know, can't ever know. 
As you hike the bone chimes, you shiver in relief with premonition of a chill wind that swakes, that suddenly sweeps the plateau. Hello, grieving mother. Your dreams are fucking creepy. Your mind comes bearing questions. Yeah, I had questions for you. I would see them again. What's that you're wearing on your wrist? She extends her hands and the small chimes on her wrist sounds with emotion, just the sound in her memory. The chimes are finely crafted of white aja. They are wrapped around the grieving mother's wrists with tiny woven braids of hair of different colors from white to black, brown to blonde. So if you're noticing them for the first time. Yeah, the birthing chimes are given to newborns. Why do you wear a set there, now? There was no child to carry it. And suddenly there is a rasping cry against your conscience, and you see her flinch visibly as if struck. She raises her hands, and you see the chimes draped from them, yet they make no sound as she moves. This is about the, the hollow hollow. born. Same chill you've had before is stronger now, as if it's welling up around your feet to your ankles. You feel the nerves draw away, as if from an unpleasant memory. The hollow born have a future. They can be saved, and the Tells spoke of such. How would you know? Have you seen this future? They can be saved. They must be saved. You have seen the beauty in childbirth. What good came into the world there on the plateau? You helped me recall it. It is a memory we shared. It is the truth. It is not that I hid, but what she saw, she couldn't know. Yeah, what really happened at the damn birth? And what would you consider real, Watcher? The truth that was experienced and remembered? Or the one that burned out only to be swept under the rug and forgotten like ash from a fireplace? Yeah, forgetting it doesn't make it less and real. And how much of your own life has been lost to the error of memory? How many loves and betrayals were colored with the false hues of emotion? A pity to wonder how much of your... Fine, if you want to keep your mouth shut, you can. For now. All right then, to Anslog's compass. We go to Anslog's compass to meet with this contact, and the dozens will probably intercept us or the dominoes this time. Yes, the dozens were the last time. Personally, don't agree with these Forge Knights, but hey, what do I know? Barbarians have many abilities that make them well suited for engaging groups of enemies in melee. In dealing with large monsters of enemy, consider sending the barbarian into the fray. What if we had a barbarian? But we don't! The keep's coming along nicely. It really is. It's rather nice to look at. Do the hard work. Bearing fruits, sort of. We still got a bunch of abandoned houses. It's okay. We will fix these one day. And then we shall continue down into that track into the pit. And Slog's Compass. And while we're here, we can look for a whale's thing. At a abandoned farmhouse. I'm pretty sure it's either in the uh, black thing, crossing, black meadow, or the crossing thing. One of those. All I know is it's up here somewhere. And we gonna find it. One hundred and fifty. The scoundrels are stealing my money. Anyway. 
Ah, uh, great. Uh, what am I looking? Okay, by the dock. Oh, wow, West Curtain's completed, huh? That's good. He's in there, bad visitor, leaving in seven days, 18 hours. Oh, blind cruelty really doesn't help anyone, so, uh, I don't like you. Uh, I don't feel like purchasing the Bailey just yet. So, uh, let's go with Woodland Trail. Yeah, I'm heading to the dock. Why did it suddenly update? Okay, I went the wrong way. Let's go. Go, go, power adventurers. Dun, 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 dun. Go, go, power adventurers. Mighty Morphin Power Adventures, go. How do you do? Come from Crystal Cube to get out. So you have something for me and tell me about what's happening at Fleetbreaker Castle. All right, now, but she eventually. Yeah, I was helping Commander Cliver, so I suppose I could tell you. High Justice has been gathering forces there. This mess with the legacy, the unrest, and the man-eating corpses all over the Deerwood isn't going away anytime soon, and the dozens are using this as an opportunity for a power grab. We've got to build up strength to defend the Deerwood, as well as our position here. And with these Forge Knights at our disposal, we'll be unstoppable. Here it is. Excellent, I should get this back to the High Justice before I... Too late, get ready! What are you, the dozens? Padibalds! Are you mad? You hold the secrets to one of the foulest examples of anime and you want to hand it over to the Crucible Knights? It's an abomination. Cage souls use as weapons and you give these silk stocking... an army of them? I can't let you do that. The research must be destroyed, and you'll have to get through me first, buddy. And that should be easy. Not. Nice. <laughs> There's jackasses running in. Wait, I gave him the... Wait, no, I don't think I gave him the gloves. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we have trouble back here. Um, some help. Help. Set that one soul on fire, please. Where's the grieving mother? Alright, there we go. 
Or something's happening. Uh... Okay, we're doing kind of well right now. Okay, he looks to be dead. Aim for that one then. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah, he's dead. Yay! We made it! Oh, wait, we didn't? Wait, why are you- No, no, what What the hell? No! What, what happened? No, no, stop! Stop! Well, I don't know what this happened, so but she's our contact, so we can't actually kill her. Oh, gonna have to reload. Back. Did I accidentally, like, hit her or something? I don't- I didn't see anything. I, we didn't use any air of effect attacks because we don't have any. What the fuck happens? <sighs> okay, then just gotta wait for it to reload. Load, 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 we go. Okay, are we at the... yes. Okay, save here. Why? Well, just because. Saving, saving. Well met, friend. Let's see a roll in this. I'm commanded. Station Fleet Brigade has sent to you research by Hajjah himself, and since you know what this research is all about, you can imagine how you're going Yep. Do like, get ready. I'll destroy you! Jackass! Okay, you go after these two. I'll send Itamuk and Katapa over here. Then we'll back them up. Hey, <laughs> why are you moving, right? What the f- Why did you move there exactly? I don't understand. What exactly thought process was occurring in your brain that possessed you to move there? You know, right next to people when you currently have a bow and arrow? Heal yourself, please. Uh, 
no, no, wait, no. Uh, you know what, I guess it's fine. Okay, here's hoping this ends better than before. Okay. I'll take that as our cue to leave. It doesn't grow any so bold, there's no time to waste. Give my grass commander and watch your back out here. I mean, given the fucking situation, I think they actually need the fucking robot army. And don't give me that look as a fantasy setting. It's basically you a give robot me any army. More gifts and people will start thinking you're playing favorites. I need to level up. This actually hasn't happened in a while, too, so... You oh! That's nice. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, wow. Order my thing to kill or give it a give me a healing ability. I'll take the healing ability. There. I hear you gained levels too. Hear this? I mean, the frightened death I just gave to exit in peace. Ray. Faux AOE, yes, you actually do need that. Damn. Okay, uh, clear out though. Yeah, we don't really have any AOE, so you having that is probably a good idea. Alright, next stop is looking for that damn, uh, scroll somewhere around here. And not here exactly. I now have a healing ability for my companion. Isn't that great? And it's a per encounter! Let's see, it should be either Mogren's Force or Black Meadow. Fork or Black Meadow. Uh, let's check Mogren's Fork first. Resolve affects concentration and the wheel and deflection defenses. It may also be used in conversations and scripted interactions when raw rare power, intensity, or charisma are involved. <laughs> Wait, let's move on up. Let's see. I think it's Oh wow. Really I don't have Oh, right, I think that's because there was that, uh, guy there, Sly Cardile, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember all that now. Should I try to kill him again? Okay, wait, this might not actually be it. Keeping an eye out. Uh, Winds of Stirrums. Uh, Abandoned farm on the path to Deerford, so yeah.
I mean, it could be in Valentwood, Easternwood. Now I don't really know. Oh, oh, on the path to Deerford, so Deerford Crossing. Or a wooden plain, Stormwall Gorge. Okay, that actually has a bit more locations than I was anticipating. Have fun killing things. Adair. An AOE! Damn! That's good. That, that's real good. I'm liking this new ability of yours! You give me any more gifts and people will start thinking you're playing favorites. Path to Deerford. Uh. Grave does. Hey, we've talked about her in it before, right? I'm pretty sure we've talked to him before, so. By every star in the sky, thank you. I've never seen an eight base bubble before. Strange times are in here. Take these. I'm headed back to Gildale for certain. You can make better use of them. Um, road to Deerford. Yeah, this isn't Deerford. Okay, what was I thinking? Uh, first, you gotta go to Cade Nua because, um,. There was that mess with uh, some bad visitor or something. So back to Cade Nua. You can change how much metagame information is displayed in conversations via the options menu. Boom, boom, boom. Saving. It keeps coming along nicely. Ah, I tried to escape. <laughs> You'll never escape. Not from my dungeons. Yeah, pig bones and spider shit must smell terrible. Yep, NPCs with gold nameplates are designed by our backers. Interacting with them will allow you to experience each one's unique history. Okay, now time to visit this uh, cruel despot, whatever the fuck he is. Show him what real cruelty is. I want to break his bones one by one. I'm going to make him swallow them. Lord Bairdenwinger, I have heard about a lot about you, Lord Mercury. You seem like a man who knows how to get results. I'm mad I like this. You, you can hear me out. Very well, let's hear it. And, uh, yep, yep, very well, let's hear it. Call your allies together, a motion for the petitioner, step forward.
As a rule of K New I'm sure you've seen your share of troublemakers, people turn to tear you down so you can share in their misery. I've had a few incidents on my land, rabble rousing peasants, you see, shameful as it is, they've gotten somewhat out of hand, refusing to work, threatening my guards, spouting this nonsense about unfair treatment. It's not as if I don't pay them. In any case, I fear they won't back down. The situation will only get worse if I don't put an end to it. Things may get a little messy. I thought it best to consult you on the matter. What exactly have these peasants been saying? Uh, my steward informed me you have quite the nasty reputation that you're cruel and merciless. Heh. <laughs> I simply know the value of efficiency. These peasants should know their place. Uh, I have other questions. What exactly are these peasants saying? Oh, the usual. That they don't enjoy the benefits of their labor, that they're treated too harshly. They're lazy, my lord, that's all. There's power of mercy. Seems a soft approach. They'll think themselves victorious. Consider it a test of your innocence. You'd do better to speak with your people than to react with the violence. But, you know, without people, you've nothing to rule over but rocks and trees. Try showing at least a little respect. I'll grant that there's some merit in what you say. Thank you, Lord Matier, for your time. I'll consider your words while I journey home. And that gave enough experience for other people in my party to level. Anyway, that's all the time we have for this episode, so thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you like and want to subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else I decide to put up there. So goodbye, humans and non-humans alike, and good ever applies to you.